Hey, what's up everyone? Dragon Ball Super episode 114. So this episode starts off where we last left off with Kale transforming into her Berserker Brawly mode, you know. Uh, whatever you want to call it, I call it Brawly mode, her legendary mode, whatever. Anyway, she's, she transforms into it, and we all know it's super powerful from the last time we saw it. And it, it's so powerful that even Jiren, who's still in the middle of meditating, uh, he flinches a little bit. You, they show his hands uh, in, you know, his, in his meditation pose, and they just kind of flinch a little bit. So it's enough to make Jiren flinch. That's how you can tell how powerful this form is for Kale. <laughs> so, of course, Goku is about to battle him, because that's where they left off. But, like I said, it's so powerful that even Topo and Vegeta, who are probably, you know, the, the next strongest fighters after uh, Jiren, they also stop and they notice the, you know, KO transforming. They're like, oh, it's that legend or that Super Saiyan form she took last time. And Topo's are like, oh, the Saiyans are not to be, uh, you know, underestimated. And Vegeta's just like, well, I'll let you know. I'm the strongest out of all the Saiyans. <laughs> and then he goes in and he goes in for a big nice punch in the freaking in his stomach and knocks him up. But yeah, we go over back to uh, Kale and uh, Khalifa and Goku's fight. And at first, Kale is berserk, you know, because it's a berserker mode. And she can't control it. And Khalifa's like, ah, oh, good job, Kale, or whatever. So she goes to congratulate her. And uh, she puts out her hand and... Uh, Khalifa grabs it, or Kale grabs it, and starts, you know, smashing her into the ground. But Khalifa just starts talking, and she's like, See, I told you, I knew you were capable of so much more. You know, you and me together, we are so powerful, and we are the strongest in the universe, and no one can stop us. And her little speech is enough for her to snap Kale out of her berserker mode. So she snaps out of it, and she gains control of her mode, which is kind of bullshit. I mean, bull, if you ask me. <laughs> like... Now she has this super strong mode, and you know she she uh, controls it, and she becomes a little bit uh, thinner. She's not as big or buff as she was before. And someone makes the comment that she's even stronger than she was before when she was in her berserker mode. Now that she controls uh, that form, which is kind of ridiculous, because she was already powerful. If I remember correctly, she was able to uh, walk right through a Super Saiyan Blue Kamehameha. So. Being stronger than that, I mean, how strong is she? So anyway, her and Kale, or Khalifa and Kale start fighting Goku, and at first the two of them are just, or they are just jacking him up. They're just pretty much, you know, their teamwork and uh, Kale being stronger than Goku at this point because he's still really, really weakened and he's not even in his blue form. They start working him, you know, they're just, just knocking him around, using their team attacks, and it's actually a pretty cool fight. You know, Goku's having a little bit of trouble. He's trying his best. To defend himself and he's doing a good job you know considering he's so beaten up and there's two against one and Kale is extremely powerful so he's doing a great job and then we kind of go over to um, Frieza who's just kind of shooting people around or shooting lasers at people and he's laughing and he's just like aha who's gonna be my next opponent and then this I think he's a robot he, he says he's a police officer and he's just like oh he's from universe 3 He's like, oh, I'm here to challenge you, Frieza, because I've seen your evil ways or whatever. And I'm a police officer of justice. So he's like, I'm going to transform into my robotic form or my mecha form, and then I'm going to defeat you. So he starts transforming, and then out of nowhere, Goku and uh, Kao freaking... <laughs> they, they, they plow right through him like before he can transform. He's just like, boom. <laughs> And, like, it's just, like, a hilarious moment, and Frieza's just like, okay, so he sees, Frieza sees Kao and Kalipa and Goku, and he's just like, oh, these are gonna be my next targets, you know, he's like, hey, Goku, or he doesn't say Goku, but he's like, hey, you know, destroying Saiyans is gonna be extremely fun, and Kalipa and Kao are just like, hey, you're the one who defeated Kaba, but before Frieza could do anything, Goku goes and grabs his arm, and he's just like, no, you're not gonna do anything, I'm fighting these people, you know, just stay out of it, Frieza. And Frieza does, you know, so Goku goes to fight him. And that robot shows up again while uh, while Frieza's just kind of standing there watching him. And he, he finally transforms into his mode, which is pretty much just him turning red. And he's like, in this mode, I'll be so fast you won't be able to follow me. And he just kind of vanishes and Frieza just kind of turns around and he's just like, I'm just going to ignore that. <laughs> and we don't see what happens to him. Maybe he just ran off the, the, <laughs> the platform. Anyway... 
they start fighting Goku again, and, you know, there's, they're still pretty much wrecking him because, you know, like I said, Kale is a lot stronger than Goku at this point, and there's two of them. So they're just working him throughout this entire fight, which is a pretty awesome fight, until they force Goku to go to Super Saiyan God. And when he goes Super Saiyan God, he starts turning the tables on them. You know, it's still two versus one, and Kale it, it seem, should be stronger than Super Saiyan God because she was stronger than Super Saiyan Blue before. But, you know, Krillin makes a comment that, hey, Goku has a, a way of just pushing past his limits. So even though he's only in Super Saiyan God mode, yeah, he starts wrecking or pushing back Kale and Khalifa, and he just starts beating them. So much so that Khalifa is nothing to him. Like, he starts pushing and messing her up, and Kale starts getting angry. And But eventually it gets to the point where Kale is just not strong enough to defeat Goku. Like, he starts doing... Or, like, they both shoot this powerful blast at Goku, and Goku just, like, he shoots these balls, and one goes to uh, Kale, and she starts blocking it, and she's able to deflect it, but Goku shoots one at Khalifa, and she decides to dodge it, but he starts doing, like, a freaking Yamcha thing, where he controls the ball, and it starts uh, homing at her, and then it eventually hits her, and it pretty much, like, it's enough to knock her down, and she's pretty much out of the fight. And Goku's like, you guys did a good job, you know, after the tournament, maybe we can fight again. So he does. He powers up a Kamehameha and he just blasts it, and he destroys that portion of the arena. Just it cracks and it gets destroyed, and he just everyone's like, yeah, you know, you you defeated him. But all of a sudden, like there's a piece of ch or chunk of the arena, and there's a green flash on it, and then everyone's just like, what's happening? And then you see just a bunch of green, and out, out of nowhere, you know, you see uh, a person stand up and then turn around, and it's fusion. Uh, Kale and Khalifa fuge to become Kalefa, yeah Kalefa, and she's just standing there in all her glory, just super powerful and proud. And we get a quick flashback from Kaba, where um, Champa was the one who gave him the the, the, Petro, the Petrona <laughs> earrings to Kale and Khalifa. He's like, use them in a the case of an emergency. And you know, right before the fuse, uh, Khalifa was just like, you know, I told you, together if we're united no one could defeat us so that was kind of their you know little lead up to saying that if they fuse no one should be able to defeat them so she's just standing there and goku's just like uh i know what this is it's fusion and she's just like uh you won't be able to defeat me now and she's so fast like goku's like okay come on she's so fast she you know she runs or goes right past goku like in a flash and goku's like what like he didn't he doesn't see it coming he's just like what the heck and Khalifa just, or Kefla, just kind of gets a smile on her face. And she starts beating Goku up. Like, Goku just starts punching and, you know, throwing punches. And she's just dodging him like nothing. She's just like, what, 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 what? Like, she's dancing, you know? <laughs> and eventually she just, bam, clocks Goku. And she just starts uh, showing her strength that, you know, the two of them fused are super powerful. So that's where the episode ends, like it, it ends with Goku getting knocked into a rock and Kalefa just kind of there, you know, so then the next episode is going to be another battle. Um, so let's talk about Kalefa. Uh, it's something that I knew was coming, like I try to avoid spoilers and I try to avoid the preview for the next episode. So usually, like I don't really know what's going to happen in the next episode, but usually throughout the week, you know, you start, get, you start getting all those spoilers, so you know. And all over my social media, because I follow all the Dragon Ball things, you know, everyone started to say, hey, they're going to fuse, they're going to fuse, they're going to fuse. So I kind of saw it coming, so that was kind of disappointing. I hate when you can't avoid spoilers like this, because it would have been such, so much more exciting if I saw it and I was just like, oh man, they, they fuse, that's crazy or whatever. But anyway, that's cheating, right? They, they're, they're cheating, they use it, an item. They're not allowed to use items, and they, they use an item to fuse. You know, I, I'm sure they're going to say something about it in the next episode, but that's cheating, because even when Master Roshi used the little bottle, uh, the Zenos had to be like, oh, we're, we'll allow it, we'll allow it. So I, I feel like they need to get permission to rust the already eliminated. Uh, but anyway, I, I like this form, Kalipa. Like, I can't wait to see more of him, because you just see her in her base form. She doesn't even go Super Saiyan. So next episode, I'm assuming she's going to go Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan 2, maybe even 3. And we're going to see if Goku's just strong enough to defeat him. It's it's coming out to be a very interesting fight. Like, last week I was just like, you know, this this fight should only be two episodes, you know, because Jiren versus 
freaking hit was only one episode, so Kalipa and Kale versus Goku should be a lot shorter. But I'm actually enjoying it right now. This episode was a lot better than last week. Like, last week's episode should have just been this episode, really. <laughs> so it, it's just, it looks cool. Like, I'm really excited, you know. They're the first female Super Saiyans, and now they're the first female Fusions, I guess, in canon. So it, it's actually really exciting to see this, and seeing Goku fight him, and, and like, this fight was really cool. So I can't wait to see what they pull out next week. It should be a really cool fight. You know, I'm sure Goku will have to go blue, and they're going to go Super Saiyan, so it's going to be a really crazy fight. But in that form, I just wonder how strong they are. Are they strong enough to fight Jiren? You know, if Kao in her Berserker form was enough to make him flinch, this fusion form should be enough for them to actually take him on. Maybe not as strong as him, but enough to give him a little bit of a fight. So that would be interesting. I, I thought we are going to see it. You know, I'm pretty sure it's just going to go Goku and Jiren. Uh, but uh, is this, you know, is Goku and Vegeta going to fuse now? Is that how Jiren is going to be defeated? Because if they're fusing, you know, that means Goku and Vegeta have a chance of fusing, fusing in the tournament. Is that how Jiren's, or is Jiren going to be defeated that way, you know? <laughs> you know, there's so many questions. I'm really excited. Like I said, this was a this was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. You know, let me know in the comments below what, what do you think is going to happen. Do you think Goku and Vegeta are going to fuse to defeat Jiren? Do you think it's fair that uh, Kao and Kalipa got to use the earrings to fuse in the first place? And what do you think of the fusion, Kalipa? Is it cool? Is it, you know, you think it's dumb? Let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Hey, if you like this video, we have several other awesome videos you can check out. And again, thanks for watching.